Hi right, guys, so Everton Edwards asks, what is it like in Vietnam? So that's what I'm going to show you today. So I actually live in a hotel, which is provided by my team. So I live with my family in the hotel, and we normally just get up in the morning, have breakfast. Here at the hotel, we actually have, where's my family this morning? Here they are, the wife and the kids. This is our room. We are in Tanwa, Vietnam. And actually, this is what the city looks like. You can see a little bit of the city. So in my first two videos, in my first two videos, I showed you what it was like. I was actually in at the mall. In episode one and episode two, I was at the mall. Can I come? No, it just will not go outside this, this year. Okay, so we live in a hotel. It's kind of dark in the hall, but we live in a hotel, and we have actually. We have two rooms in the hotel. So this is our next room. But we hardly ever use it. I normally sleep here. I normally sleep here the days before games. Because sometimes Daniel, the smaller one, he will wake up. He will wake up. And it's difficult to sleep all night with him. So I'm just going to give you a quick peek around our hotel. So for me, life in, life in Vietnam is not much different from life in Jamaica. I do this typically the same thing. The culture is different and the food is different. That's about most of the difference for me. So I'm upstairs. I am upstairs and this is where we'll come to have breakfast sometimes. And we'll have lunch sometime here also. But most of the time we eat out. Most of the time we eat out because not every day we want to eat the same food and honestly most of the time the hotel gives the same. They maybe give chicken and fish and beef and rice but it's always cooked just about the same. Yeah. So this is our, this is the lunch room upstairs. We have a little bar. And the chef is down there in the kitchen. Okay. There's the chef he did not see. <laughs> hey. Yeah, so actually I'm gonna be showing you again when we are leaving the hotel and when we are getting in the taxi. I'm going to show you how you, and I'm going to teach you how you take a taxi in Vietnam because taking a taxi in Vietnam is not the same like taking a taxi anywhere else in the world. Oh, let me go to the first floor. Now. Yeah. So this is what it's like living in Vietnam. Sorry. Uh, on taxi, please. This is our hotel. So normally we go for lunch at around 11.30 or 12. Danny! So we're waiting on the taxi to pick us up from our hotel. And I can teach you about taking a taxi in Vietnam. It's not like taking a taxi anywhere else. First thing you have to be careful about with taxis in Vietnam is they will always take you the wrong way or the wrong place 
and then ask you for money and then after that they will want to take you to the correct place it's a typical thing here some people call it scam yeah we call it a scam they're hustling but it's vietnam so if you come here and you're taking the taxi make sure you use google map or you know where you're going but if you're a first time i definitely use google map because there's there's a hundred percent chance the taxi will, will take you where you don't want to go and also you need to learn about the vietnamese money because if you don't know the currency also they will always try to they will tell you that what you see on the meter is in us dollar when it's actually in vietnamese dollar so this is a vietnam dong not this is a hundred thousand vietnam dong and this is around i would say four dollars almost five dollars so twenty three thousand vietnam dong is one us dollar and this is a hundred thousand yeah so around four dollars close to five dollars so in my video today about what it's like in vietnam i'm going to show you my full day taking my kids to the mall to play to have lunch and to also when i get back home i take the kids home and then i go to training on my bike so that's gonna be what the oh taxi is here Antoy, cut that taxi so the taxi is here and we are going this is the best taxi to take in vietnam see million taxi they have oh that's the next thing about taxis in vietnam some of them have rigged meters so the meters don't actually work and once you get in the car the meter just starts to run like the meter starts to run like a speed clock <laughs> so i would say yeah so the meter will start to run like usain bolt and you will end up paying maybe maybe 20 us dollars for a trip that would have cost you maybe four us dollars so there's the meter right there it will start when he's moved up. One toy. Uh, the Vincom. Oh, this way, this way. See, I, already, I have to tell him to turn around. So if he went straight ahead, like you see, he would have to take the long way around. That would add in a, maybe another 10 minutes to get where we're going. And he knows, I told him. Less than 10. Less than 10, maybe 5. Maybe 5. He but would go big C. 10 minutes, you couldn't he, turn back. He didn't plan to go to Big C, he planned to go this way. Koplo, Cho Koplo. To the hospital. Nobody would take you to Big C to Vinko or to Big C to Vinko. He took me he, there. He's trying to get in maybe the bigger circle. Yes, it's still a <coughs> long way. <coughs> Stop stepping on my shoes, please. That's not nice. Yeah, so we are going now to Vinko. Uh, Zechai. So Zechai means turn left. So the so we're heading to Vincom. This is what it looks like in Vietnam. But uh, if I didn't tell him to turn back, you don't know if he would have went left or right. And that's a one way, so you cannot go left. I've never. Yeah, to... okay. But he cannot turn left. It's a one way. It's a one way. You can only go this way. One way. Have you ever took a taxi? Yes. No, I never. No, I have to go to the back because it's a one way. You cannot go to the left. It's a one way street. You ever see we take a taxi and he, and he takes that way? You go to a block. You go to the hospital. Like Katrina, you cannot go left. It's a one way street. You can only go right. If you went straight, okay. you can only go right. Mm -hmm. You're the one who they're always taking around. Well, they, they don't care about what to ride. They just will cross and go. Uh, you know already their rules, they're not working. Yet. Yes, but that is a one-way street. You would have to go all the way up on the one-way street. Okay. And still it's the long way, so I don't want to take the long way. Hey, Danny. Turn AC, they just use fan on them and and, and burn you up in the back. Yeah, I think the they AC is not working to, well. I'm gonna try to save money. They're trying to save money because it's burning gas, so I guess. That's why they put fans on them, right? So, uh, 
Put a Zephyr. Okay, I think you know already. Zephyr means turn right. So this is a typical day. Not typical. Taking a taxi to <laughs> Vincom. This is not a typical day. Then what's a typical day, Ekatrina? Typical day is sending kids to school. Yeah, but they're not. Going to make yeah, but there's no going. No. Yeah, but I'm gonna show them in the afternoon when I'm going to train in no problem. You're going to drive so this is motorbike capital. So definitely you need to Definitely, if you're taking the taxi, you need to know how to direct the taxi. So I can give you the basic tips. If you want to go straight, you say Ditang. If you want to go left, you say Zef Chai. And if you want to go right, you say Zephai. I'm trying to not talk too loud. Maybe you'll think I'm directing him and turn off the street. Yeah, so you can just do... But as tourists, it's better to use your Google map. Yeah, but I said That's that. That's the best advice. I said that <laughs> because if you if you're fresh here, you're not gonna realize where they're taking you. You're just gonna uh, you're just gonna think they're taking you to the right way, but they will not because they always scam me. But I know the streets, but they always try to yeah. circle me around. Yeah, but you know the streets. And so you tell still me get double scared. price. You know, instead of fifty Vietnam dong, probably two dollars. They told me one time to pay. Uh, 150 Vietnam Dawn, so it's like a, about uh, ten dollars. Need to tell him to turn now. It's so crazy. What is that, Chai? So for me, it's kind of easy because I know the city already. But if I was a newbie here, I'm 100% sure he would be going all over the place just to get to the location, just for the meter to be. I so would I, pretend like he doesn't yeah, know yeah. the streets, but they're taxi guys, they know the streets very well. So, it's typical. It's a game. Yeah, and this is something we've lived here five years, and this is something we have to deal with almost every time we get in a cab. Some of them, when they realize you know the language a bit, and when they know you're familiar with the area, they'll just yeah, go, just relax, and relax, and yeah, go. take it to the right. Place. Yeah, but still, you have even when they hear you talking, they still try. But uh, oh, we're, we're not coming off a cool first, right? No. No, we're about to. Oh, I should go to. Are you hungry? No, 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 no. no. Oh. We're just. But I also, we'll try to give you back your change. So make sure you always give them right away. Yeah, is that if I? Or if you, <laughs> oh, you just ask them for a change because they will try to call five in the dawn or ten. Or if you're fresh and you don't know the month, they're gonna realize it. Maybe they will try to tell you uh, what what is in Vietnam dawn on meter. They will try to say it's dollars. So be careful with that. There is no dollars nowhere in Vietnam. There's Vietnam dawn. The currency is Vietnam oh, dawn. Yeah. Okay. Even in the shop, if they're trying to tell you dollars, they never buy nothing there because it's a scam. Yeah, every price you Everything see. Everything what is in dollars they mention, just go away and leave the person who is trying to tell you that. So that's we're not here. true. We're here. Yeah. No. Okay. I see you opening the door. Yes, hi. Is it? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Let's go yeah, ask wait. about this. Okay, thank you. Come on. That's his English. Marshall. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so this is Vietnam. We're in Tanwa City and we're at Vincom Plaza. Taking the kids to play. And in chow. Who is Kisa? Hey, 
Good to see my. This is Highlight Cafe. Ooh, it's kinda cool. Better we will go next. Shopping mall in Vietnam. Or almost every day stop. Danny, come here, Danny. Danny, no, no, no. So I'm back in the afternoon, and this is how I get to training. I ride my bike to training. I'm gonna pick up my fellow Jamaican teammate to Mario. I'll try to do a little video when I'm on the road, but you know, I'm riding the bike, so it's not safe. This is how I get to training every day. in Jamaica no, believe me there's no rules in riding bike in Vietnam people do what they want they can be going up the one way and they just have to understand how they ride Training. I made it to training. Here are my troops. Good. Okay. Give me a look for me. Can't. Training. <laughs> See white man. White man is actually the coach of no training today. I think free. I don't like relax. Uh, I see. White man's upset. <laughs> My friend, when you told me no training, I was already making plans for no training. I was shocked when I was looking there. I was shocked. I called even number two. I said, hey, we need to call now the coach. I said, and they talked actually. Number 10, number two, the coach, Still, I think it's the, I think the uh, highest, highest guy. guy. Yeah. Hey, I'm catching you, white man. You, you don't want to show your room? <laughs> Yo, I'm not training. This is how I get to training in Vietnam every day. So you don't make board, I'm going to go for pick up and you know the hotel. When? My yard. Me have, me have vlog. Yeah. Me have vlog. So me never, yeah, yeah. But me, yeah. Where did the gate, sir? So me found the order too? So I uh, me catch up. So then you me come for pick up and want to catch up on the vlog in the day at the hotel, you <laughs> anyway, can't jump here because they're going to be in a Yeah, man, I'll catch you. I'll catch you. So, the place done already, I've never done. So, it done already. 
Uh, make the investment because you can't lose. You can't lose. So, so I'm a chat boy investment for my vlog. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, yeah, so the boss, young youth, I uh, make strides. Vlog world. Vlog world. Young youth, I uh, go buy an apartment all the way in Vietnam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so we have to big everything. Vlog me at three, you. Alright, we have vlog me at three. No way, sir. Yeah, man. Boss, I make a move oh, all the way. Boss, I make a move all the way over Asia. I tell him to do it a yard. What do you say? You know, bad, so you know, nothing try, nothing done. Real estate, cheap of Vietnam still. You won't be the first because we have other foreign friends that do the same thing. So he's not the first one to do it, but it's a good move. We have to big him up at least. He's not doing madness. Yeah. So I eat that. This is a typical media. Should I show you what the room <laughs> Should I show you what the room looks like? Let me show you what the room looks like. And this is one of the better rooms. This is one of the better rooms. So this is where I come. This is my room. This is where I have to sleep sometime before the games. Yeah. Pretty Vietnamese simple. I only sleep here maybe one night before the game. Yeah, that's it. So that's my life in Vietnam. That's what it looks like. If you you can tell me what you think. If it surprises you, if it's actually what you thought Vietnam was like. Yeah. So see you in my next video.